Candace and Pegfoot, and we are back to um, unbox our nerve block. I did think. I'm a little medicated. My allergies are killing me. I have had a day from hell. My nerve block got lost in the mail the day before yesterday, and it's just tracking it down has been a nightmare. So it finally, finally got here today. It did. It got here today. He's a little less impressed than I am. So I'm not real impressed with the U.S. Postal Service either. But, gotta love Nerd Block. Where you going, bubs? So. Unfortunately, I, I saw a brief moment spoiler of it on Facebook. So I kind of saw what the shirt was, but not enough to totally run it for me. But. What we got. So, for sale grab, let's see, multicolor edition, Money World, do it yourself. It's one of those little money figures I, I see. Includes two and a half inch soft vinyl toy, paint can accessories, sticker, and sticker sheet. You can draw on Raffi, you can paint on Raffi, use pens, pencils, crayon, and crayons on Raffi. I can't even get it open. I know a lot of people had an issue with one of these in another box last month. I don't know, I've never seen them, never had them, so I really don't have an opinion. All my, all my creativity these days is digital doing graphic design and making digital scrapbooking book, uh, kits that I sell in a couple of stores online and these days as far as my creativity goes I don't draw, sketch, and paint anymore alright, we use purple, I like purple you can see how how tiny he is but can't exactly go by my hands cause I got itty bitty hands. So, these kids, a little cow. Little cow figure. I like cows. And, and it has this little, little paint can with a paintbrush in it. Alright, and I can get this out of here. Alright, you can you can put these little stickers on them to decorate them. I guess. And there's a like the other side. It's cute, I don't know if I'd do anything with it, just kinda leave them as is. He's He's cute. Not only my thing, but he's cute. I like him. Just as collecting vinyl figures goes, I guess. Alright. Guardians of the Galaxy nesting dolls. Oh, goodness. I'd seen people talk about nesting dolls, but I didn't I didn't know it had, it had anything to do with nerd block. And I love, I, my mother loved nesting dolls. I, I got rid of a bunch of them, but I kept, I kept a set of them that she had had, got me when I was just a little, little girl. So, these are the, the nesting dolls. If you don't know what they are, they're, they're Russian, Russian, they're like Russian nesting dolls where they're, you get a, you got your big one, it's Groot, then they come apart, there's a, there'll be a smaller doll inside, oh, 
I'm dropping him. And another. Then another. As you can see, they just get smaller and smaller and smaller. I really like these, though. Now, the ones I have are the traditional wood ones. These are just plastic, but they're still pretty awesome. And at the end, we have a itty bitty 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 baby Groot. So. Start out with your big Groot and end with the baby one. A bitty. I like those. I like nesting dolls, so I think these are really different and unique. I have to, whenever I get my home office reorganized one day, I'll have to put these in there with my my mother's Russian ones. But yeah, I like those. I've only seen Guardians of the Galaxy once, and it was a long time ago, and I think I was stunned, so, yeah, I don't remember it, I'm going to have to rewatch it sometime. Alright, Nerdblock is continuing the theme of putting books in the block, and it is Simon Pegg, Nerd Duel, and I am freaking going to love reading this, A Small Boy's Journey to Becoming a Big Kid. Sounds about like me. I am a big kid. I'm definitely going to have a good time reading this. Ah, oh, it's got pictures from Shaun of the Dead. Oh, I'm going to love that. I love Simon. He's so adorable. And he's British. Anyone who knows me knows I'm obsessed with British stuff. All right. Drop something. All right. Oh, I know they had these in um the girls' junior because I saw an unboxing the other day. But on on this side you have Freeze's Ice Ice Babies little uh oh I got sneeze. I've sneezed so bad. Uh. They're these little mock ice cubes, and they got little spiders in them. I hate spiders, so that freaks me out a bit. And, um, on the other side, we have a whoopee cushion with a Harley Quinn on it. And it says, Mr. J's, um, April Fool's Kit. You're sure to get your hands on me. I don't know. I can't, I can't see it. Three months later, I'm still trying to get new glasses. Anyway, I haven't had a whoopee cushion since I was a kid. My papa was into jokes and stuff. So when me and my mom went to go see him, I had always gone to this place called Eddie's Trick Shop by my house. Um... It's over on the Marietta Square. It's a little costume and novelty store um, where you can get magic tricks and just other novelty items. And they have a costume shop in the back. And then in the very, very back of that, they have a um, a dance a dance um, a dance shop for for like young kids and uh, adults to get uh, dancing items like leotards and ballet and jazz shoes and whatnot. Because when I was in dance, when I was a lot younger, I, I went there a lot too for that. What are you doing, dum dum? Come here! What they got? Oh, here he comes! <laughs> Let's see if I can blow this up so my asthma sucks today. What was that? <laughs> oh, he sneezed on me. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> he 
You didn't know what to think of that. Says, drop the bomb. That's cute. And then I never did like about whoopee cushions. Is that that funky smell? And these are the the ice cubes. Spiders. Look. I'll keep those, but probably, but. I don't think I'm ever going to use them, because if I pull them out by accident, I'm going to have a coronary. Ah! I know right where this guy is going, on my fridge. Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, magnet. It's going to take him out and... Show him a little better. I love these bags that you can seal and reseal. You have to hack them up. That's the magnet. That's cute. It's so cute. Alright. I think the last thing we got left is the shirt. Here is The card telling you now what what's in your your nerd block. And over here, uh, Ghostbusters. I ain't I ain't afraid of no spoilers. Yeah, I know. Uh, nerd block next month is going to have Ghostbuster related items, and that's great because um, collectible geek that came in uh, the other day it had a uh, some Ghostbuster items, like a shirt and a patch, so that's pretty awesome. It says, uh, Titan Nerd Block Vinyl Facts, exclusive to Nerd Block, subscription, sales date, size four and a half, um, inches plus packaging. So it's, it's a, it's an, another Titan vinyl, like the, the um, Better Call Saul one that, that was in last month's block. And I, I like those uh, Titan vinyls. Bit of a change from the um, Funko Pop ones, which of course I love. But, alright, so. Okay, now all that's left is the shirt. And when I, when I did an unboxing the other day and I took out the Ghostbuster shirt, I didn't realize it until later that. I sounded just like Johnny Taz, and I told him I said, I told him what I had said, and, and I was like, damn it, damn it, Johnny, you're stuck in my head, and he's like, yes, I've infiltrated your mind, so I told him from now on, whenever, whenever I do these unboxings and get a shirt, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna scream just like him, he just cracks me up, so, let's see, so here we go for Johnny, is it cool, is it cool? <laughs> and I already know it is because it is Simon Pegg and that is from Shaun of the Dead and I was just hoping and hoping it was going to be a Shaun of the Dead shirt it's really really awesome a slice of fried gold Bory Electric Sales Advisor Shaun and there are some like zombies in the background, but I would love to have seen his friend Ed on here as a zombie next to him. That would have made this shirt even better, but uh, the shirt's plenty freaking awesome. I love it. So yeah, that was a great box. Humble of me. Of course, again, he's miffed because he didn't get a plushie, but that's okay. We'll still have fun. So, anyway, that is the unboxing for the Nerd Block. If you haven't tried them yet, there'll be a, uh, a link to the subscription box site um, in the description box below. God, I can't even think what I'm saying. I'm so sleepy from my allergy meds. But, uh, link, or what? <laughs> links to like, follow, subscribe, all that nonsense uh, for my pages are, um, on my main, my, my main YouTube channel, 
So I'm sorry. I gotta get out. I gotta get out of here for. I just completely butcher something else. And like I said, it's been week from hell. So thanks, guys. We'll see you back in a few days. We're expo expecting our horror block and and then a couple other packages. So see you guys in a few days. Bye.